Welcome to tonight's cooking class. Tonight we are cooking from the Good Food Real Fast Asian kit with a few extra ingredients that we're gonna be using. I'm gonna make crispy lettuce wraps for you. We're gonna have dessert, gotta have chocolate pudding. I'll make a chipotle aioli and we'll have some sesame ginger uh, coleslaw. First thing, why don't we start with the introductions, okay? Um, do you have a do you have a pen and paper for to take notes and have a drink? I have my water. And um, I am Kimberly Kinnear, and I'm your Epicure consultant. This is my kitchen, as uh, calamity as it is. Um, and I've been with Epicure since the beginning of, since they came to the United States, which is like August of 2019. And I first joined because I have food allergies. Um, I'm allergic to gluten and dairy, and our products are 100% gluten-free, so that's a win-win for me. The company's been in Canada for 24 years. Next, 2022 will be our 25th anniversary, and so um, so that's me. I'm a, I consider myself a non-cook. I had like five rotating recipes, you know, with Savannah growing up. Steve's. He can just whip anything up, put everything together. I need to follow a recipe. So Epicure has uh, changed my life immensely in many ways. Uh, Savannah's off to college, and the one thing she said is, why didn't you cook like this when I lived at home? So mistake learned, but you know, Epicure wasn't here. So uh, think about what your dilemmas are, and hopefully I can answer all of those tonight. Um, and why don't we get started? We're gonna start with dessert first because you know everybody wants a dessert. I have a bowl in the fridge that I chilled and the reason why I chilled it, it just helps it set up a little faster. Sorry for walking off camera there. Now, um, I'm also allergic to dairy so I'm using an oat milk in it. This is our chocolate pudding. It comes in a sachet like this. And what I wanna show with you is on the back of our sachets, there's usually two or three recipes on the back but it might be hard to see, but there's the bold words. That's what you know you need to, on your shopping list for the week. So, you know, I knew I had this here and all I needed was two cups of milk. I had that in the fridge, so I didn't need to ask anything else. So I am just gonna whip this up and I wish you were here so you could taste it because it is delicious. Now, most, I wanna show you, 63% of our products are low sugar. And so when you compare ours to um, store, you know, the stuff you buy in the store, it is, well, I wanted to check this out. Well, it has very low sodium because we have to watch that in our house. So it's very low. Um, and the sugar is a coconut-based sugar. These are our pro prep, prep pro bowls and they have nice measurements on the side. They are, um, you can put them in a freezer, dishwasher, oven, and it calls for two cups of milk. So I'm gonna pour this out and right to the rim, two cups. They come in a set of four, they're one cup, and they also have these fabulous silicone lids. Let me put this off to the side. The lids are like this and they're silicone. They're a food grade silicone. And so I'm just gonna whisk this up to get it nice and mixed. You know what, I should have wore an apron because I tend to spill all over. But okay, let's talk about it. Our serving size um, and oh, one thing. What I do is um, I'm working the Epic Life program. And so when I, after tonight's class, I will serve them up in half cup you know, dish them out so that when I need that chocolate fix, I'll have them in the fridge and I can uh, have my treat. And it's 100 calories. And a if you look at the stuff, if you read labels, I don't know if you do, but the stuff in the store for a half cup serving is 170 calories. And like, I, I don't know if I said this, but it's a coconut based palm sugar. So it has a better sugar glycemic. I'm just learning about that because the doctor says I need to watch all of that. Let me whisk this up. On the back there, like I said, there's recipes and you can make it a Mexican pudding by putting in some ground cinnamon. And if you want to, you can put a pinch of the chipotle, which is 
Oh, so good. Now, if you're a coffee drinker, make it a mocha. Substitute one cup of the milk for, with a one cup of um, coffee. I'm gonna stick this in here. I'm gonna put a little on it, and then I'm gonna put it in the fridge, and then I'll serve it up when we're done. Ooh, I forgot to take the whipping cream out. There we go, get into the fridge. Okay, now we're gonna make easy peasy lettuce wraps. Okay, now this is our steamer. I love the steamer. I was a little leery because I never cooked in the microwave. I never even made popcorn in the microwave before Epicare. Um, occasionally I'd heat up my tea water, uh, but I love this. I read the studies and all our cookware, our time-saving cookware is silicone, food grade. It doesn't leach anything off into our, whatever I'm heating up in there. What, and there's plenty of studies from Harvard and Mayo that I've read about microwave cooking and about cooking in their own juices, cooking quick. Now, so we don't add any oils, we don't add any water, all we're adding is the seasoning, okay? So I've cut up, I've got a pound of ground chicken. It calls for ground pork, but I just prefer chicken. And then I put cut up a red bell pepper and a yellow bell pepper, bell pepper. and I'm just gonna, like again I said, I looked at the bold printing on the back and it told me what I needed. It has a stove top, so if you want to cook it up in a wok or if you want to do it in the microwave. So I like, to, I like to turn them upside down so I can leave it so you can look at it. Um, and this has such a wonderful taste. I have to say this is one of my best sellers. Ooh, that smells so good. I have a friend, Joyce, that I walk with and actually she just became a consultant. Um, and she sells, when she comes to my cooking classes, she sells so many of these. Her and her sisters love this. And my husband and I always forget about it. You know, it's always there. Okay, so real quickly, it call, I'm setting it up right so I can read it. It calls for a tablespoon of water and a teaspoon of sesame oil and soy sauce. So let me grab some water out of the fridge here. Okay, so. This is our four-in-one measuring spoon. I love this thing, because I don't have to hunt around in the drawer. Where's a tablespoon? Where's a half a tablespoon? Where's a teaspoon? It's all right here. And so it calls for a tablespoon. Well, I always have to read it, because when I'm talking, I always forget. So, and put a little bit more, because I didn't get it all the way out. So that's one tablespoon there. Now, tablespoon, teaspoon, half teaspoon and then there's a line there for a, a quarter teaspoon. So it called for, make sure it's teaspoon because there have been times when I put in a whole tablespoon when it's a teaspoon. Not good, so I've got some sesame oil. Whoops. I do tend to be heavy handed. Now remember, low sodium means it's, and low sugar, it is going to be packed with flavor. I tell you, this one is good. And this one, oh, and it also lists on the back here, and it's got ginger in it. That's what I smell, but it has chives and garlic. It's not a spicy one, but again, that's all relative because some people, spice is, spice is all relative. My husband says it's not spicy and it's burning down my throat. Okay, I'm gonna set this aside over here. Now I'll stir it up, and now we've got um, a utensil set. Everything is our prep pro, but this has a stainless steel core, so look at this. It is sturdy. Sturdy, 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 and I love that the edge is smooth so that I can just, I'm gonna stir this up, but I'll show you later how it'll just scrape it clean. I couldn't believe last night when I was using the ladle. Oh, I wish you were here to smell this. It smells so good. Okay. Now, meat into the dish, into the sink. I don't wanna make a mistake in using that. Now, our silicone steam, it has a nice lid that fits on there, and snug, so you wanna make sure you get it on. Three holes with steamer, so when I take this out of the microwave, I wanna pull it and open it away from my face. Okay, and it says to cook it for microwave, five to six minutes. Now everybody's microwave is different. I'm gonna cook it for five minutes, check it out, and then see how it is. Like 
my one in the RV, I'd have to cook it longer because it's not as strong out there. Okay, next we're gonna make our coleslaw, okay? And what I did was have Steve just, when he was doing the shopping yesterday, just pick me up a bag of coleslaw. Sometimes I already have it at home. Let me use our scissors. These things are the best. I try to, you know, only I only use them in the kitchen, but I always try to not use things. So I'm going to toss in a bag of coleslaw. Oh, this bowl might be a little too small to begin with. Next thing I'm going to do is make our dressing. This is our cruet. And now how many of you have had salad dressings get, you put, open them, have a salad, you put them in the fridge, they get stuck in the back, you forget about them, they go bad. I have lost so many, so, so much money has gone down the drain, let's put it that way. But what this, our dressings come, yeah, they come like this, and you mix them as you use them. So I don't have to worry about products going bad. There's two of us in the house and we don't need a full jar. So I always try to cut the dressing mix in half. I also shake up my um, seasonings because uh, the lighter stuff or the, you know, they'll settle and it's going to get separated. So I'm going to do that. So, and guess what? The recipe's right here. There's a creamy dressing, there's an Asian noodle recipe, and then just the sesame ginger. Calls for two tablespoons of the dressing, Three, three tablespoons soy sauce and a third cup oil and a half cup rice. I'm going to make a full because I'm doing a, um, a coleslaw. The measurements are right here. Boom. So let's go. Let's see. It calls for a third cup and a half cup. Okay. Let's go with the rice vinegar first. And the rice vinegar calls for, oh, oh, you know what you're going to love? This funnel. Look at that. It goes right in there. No spillage because I am notorious for spilling half a cup of rice vinegar so I can just look at the measurements and yep this is the rice vinegar I have to tell you when I was a kid I have four brothers and boy did they play a trick on me uh, made popcorn and you know if you come from a big family you're always fighting over your own share well my brother was so funny that he exchanged the sugar for the salt and when I went to salt my popcorn I put sugar all over it not cool. Okay, and then next, some oil. So I've got some olive oil here. And da -da -da, a third cup. I should have had this measured out ahead of time so you didn't have to watch me. And I will just put about that much. Looks like a third cup. I, I have to measure everything, but sometimes when I'm in the crew, it doesn't go that way. Okay, now this is what you're going to love. Okay, that one has water on it. I don't want to stick it in here. But look at this. It's going to fit right in, just like that. Whoops, now I'm going to spill it. So there's one tablespoon. And I'm, because I'm on camera, I'm being very careful, so I'm not getting a full tablespoon. So I'll just throw a little extra in there. Boom. So look at that. I've got the dressing made. Oh wait, I forgot the soy sauce. How about a sneeze? Three tablespoons soy sauce. We are gluten-free, so I use the tamari, which is a gluten-free soy sauce. -da 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 -da. There's one. There's two. I should, oh shit, oh. Sorry about that. <laughs> Wasn't supposed to be saying that on screen. <laughs> I'm not a lefty, let's just say that. Let me get a paper towel to wipe that mess up. Okay. I hope I didn't offend anyone there. Okay, clean that mess up. Now look at that, there's my dressing. Take the lid and shake it up. And this can be good, you know, I don't know, two weeks maybe in the, so, and like I said, I'll make it half. I'm gonna leave it here. I'm not gonna dress the salad yet because I want this to hydrate the herbs in there. Okay, so there's our sesame ginger. Now, this next one is one of our favorites. It doesn't come in the a Good Asian kit anymore. It used to, and it's the one that everybody question, used to question. Oh, I'm almost out. Chipotle with Asian food? Yes, 
Mexico does not own chipotle. It is used in, the chipotle chili is used in so many different countries. So yes, you will die, die for this taste. It's so good. Oh, there's our beeper. Let's check that. Now, and you should probably use a hot pad, but I've been doing massage for 30 years. I think I've worn my sensitivity off. And so I'm gonna open this up. Okay, it's gonna need a little bit more. See that? Oh, it smells good. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take our meat separator, which is so, it again is very sturdy, look at that. But look how wide, I like to call them a whale tail, how wide they are. So they are, um, it's easier to clean. I don't have to worry about that. So I'm just gonna stir this up and chop it up. See how it's chopping it up so nicely? And you, now you never wanna be using sharp edged metal in your steamers because it is silicone and you can cut it. Never ever, you can use oil if you want to, but never ever ever use a spray oil because, oh, this smells good. I'm gonna stir it up a little better there. Okay, chop, chop, chop. But oh, like I said, the spray oil will void the warranty. There's something in the chemical it, that they put into that spray that can start eating away on your finish. Okay, look at that, see? Like that, I'm gonna cook it for another minute. Da, 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 da. I love chopping. <laughs> Get out my aggression. And this thing that goes, I'm gonna put it back in there for one minute. I always say it's better to undercook than overcook. Okay, so back to the chipotle. I pre-measured a half a cup of mayo here and um, our chipotle. It's a tablespoon to a cup. So all I need is a half a tablespoon. Oh, it's so smoky and yummy. And I'm trying to see what's in it. Garlic, chipotle chili, spices. It's the alder smoked sea salt. Yum, yum. I guess they're all wet. Let me grab another one. Out of here. And I need a half a tablespoon, so I'm just going to guess it. And we love this here, so it doesn't matter if I put a little extra, because it's never overdoing it. I lost my caps here. Okay, and then I'm using our little mini whisk, and I will stir this up. This is so good. I wish you could, I wish you could taste it. Um, ask... Oh, look at that, look at that. There you go, I've got an aioli. We have another one that's a garlic aioli. So yummy. Okay, look at that, I've got dinner. And how long have we been cooking? Not long. I'll let that sit there in the microwave. I'm gonna take it out and put it on the stove just to let the steam out, because I definitely know it's done now. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and dress our Mix. Look at that. Doesn't it look yummy? I wish you were here. I truly do. Because it's, oh, it smells so good. So, oh, I forgot my dripping grabs. This tool is another one that I didn't think I needed, but boy, has it saved me. For some reason, I've gotten short and I can't seem to reach the top shelf or above the refrigerator, but so I can use it because it's has that stainless steel core, doesn't bend, but it also has a stainless steel spring so that it bounces right back. It has these nice grippy nubs there. I don't know if you can see that. So it'll grip on. I don't want to pick that up because it's open, but see, look, I can pick up a jar and not worry about losing control of it. So I am going to, see, look how fast it's separated there, which is fine because what do I do? Shake it back up. Okay, so. La, da, 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 da. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it all on there because it's so good. And then we'll let it dress. You know, toss the coleslaw around, and we'll be ready to eat in a minute. But I do want to talk to you a little bit more about Epicure, and um, kind of explain. Oh, look at that! That looks so good. Yum, yum. Okay, I'm gonna set this aside. Now, we have our time-saving 
cookwares, which you know are our spatulas, our steamers. This little rack comes in that large steam, multi-purpose steamer, and this is what we cook bacon on. I love it. Uh, and again, that was that was our aha moment. We were out working in the yard two years ago, and it was tomato season, and Steve said, let's have BLTs. I said, okay, I'm gonna make the bacon in the microwave, and he's like, uh, no. And I said, yes, it will come together just like that. You And I so I put it in, and we have never cooked bacon any other way. And with, um, oh, right here, with every uh, steamer, or any of our silicone cookware, bakeware, you'll get a card like this. And it has cooking instructions. So the other day I made rice. That was my first time because I was very hesitant. And um, it says on here, white rice or brown rice. I put in two cups of, um, it makes two cups. I put in a cup of water. I mean, wait, cup of rice and two and a half cups of steam water. Then I put this over the top and I cooked it uncovered. I didn't put that lid on. And uh, in, uh, what is it, 15 minutes, I had the fluffiest rice. And before I do it on the pan, on the stove, and it was crazy, crazy. Okay, I wanted to show you a couple of our other um, steamers, but I didn't take them out. So give me a second and I'll grab them. Ow! Oh, man. Okay. I don't see the omelet maker, but the omelet maker is a lifesaver. But this is a rectangular one. This one is perfect for baking um, if you want to make banana bread or pumpkin bread, and you can do it right in the microwave, five to seven minutes. It's unbelievable. But this here is a perfect one for the college student. Um, you send it off. They all have a microwave, whether they're living in a dorm or an apartment, there's a microwave somewhere where they can cook, heat up and cook their things. I have friends that take this and use it at work. They'll pre, you know, pre-season everything and then take this to work, put, you know, their food in it, heat it up, and then they have a warm lunch. And it's healthy. You know, they don't have to use oils or water. They just put use the steam of the product. The other thing is we have an omelet maker, which is unbelievable. I wish I had it out here, but when we don't, my husband eats the leftovers, so he'll take this in his lunch tomorrow, but when he doesn't, he'll make an omelet the night before and warm it up in the at work and boom, it's done. Now, many of my friends will mix up their omelet in here and their veggies in a little Ziploc bag and put them all together, you know, put the veggies in, shake up their egg and milk and put it in and cook it that way. You can also make French toast in your the omelet maker, which is super easy. Um, let me think, let me check my, let's check my notes before we go. Um, uh, I'll be posting a link for shopping right after this. Your purchases are gonna unlock all the wonderful host benefits for our hostess. Um, and we love, we do like to spoil them. So most of my hostesses get between seven to five and a hundred dollars in free and somewhere between three to five half priced items. So you can't beat that. Okay, what did I tell you about? Um, yeah, we only have eight grams of sh sugar in our, oh, our pudding, I didn't bring that out. Um, eight grams of sugar in the pudding versus the store, which has 18. Uh, let's see, what else can I tell you? Oh, that's the other thing I forgot to tell you. Um, these and all our silicone wear, you can put them in the oven, you can put them in the microwave, you don't wanna put them on an open flame or on a stove top, but they, are, they can be in up to 450, 425 degrees, same with these. Um, the only thing is our meat separator, that's only to about 325 degrees, but that, which is really nice, so you can bake in the oven with that. Um, pudding, let's get the pudding out and I'll show you how that's set up. Let me close that door there. And I forgot to take the whipped topping out, but look at that. Let me get a spoon. And I will sample it. So you know, look at how that set it up, just like that. Can you tell? See? Quick and easy. So again, if you're wanting a mm, now I'm gonna have chocolate in my Oh. It is a dark chocolate. It doesn't have, it's not a milk chocolate, so it's just cocoa. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. We have toppers, which I wanted to share with you. Um, what is a cocoa one? And of course I forgot that, I don't know if you can see my thing here, but we have a summer berry and a cocoa crunch and a tutti frutti as well. 
And these are perfect to sprinkle on top. It adds some fiber to it. This summer berry, um, I'm pretty sure it's still available, but we have a tutti frutti. I have a friend, she, her daughter puts it on her salads. Perfect. Oh, think of your cocoa crunch, little sprinkles in your coffee, give it a little mocha taste. Um, okay, what else do I, let me, I'm gonna look at my notes over here. Uh, okay, we're coming into our gift giving season. Think about birthdays. You're, like I said, college students. We had a cut. We had a um, a Thai stir fry that retired last summer, and my daughter's roommate said, "Ah, uh, get your mother on the phone." So I had to order six packets of them because they loved that. Because again, you can just heat it up in the steamer, just like we did tonight. They can make it there. So new moms. I have a friend having surgery next week. I mean, no, excuse me, next month. So I'm gonna back package up some meals and send them off to her, so that'll help. And again, dinner in 20 minutes. You know, I my worst time of day is night, so the last thing I wanna do is cook. So, and, or figure out what we're gonna cook. So we have, I'm gonna talk about our three weeks of dinners here. I know I keep telling you we're gonna be eating, but it'll be a minute. Epic here likes to take the stress out of dinner. This is a few of our October, um, three weeks of dinner, and I want to show you what we've got here. I've, I've printed these off. Every time you purchase a three weeks of dinner, you will get a digital link to these, or you can just print them off or look at them on my website. So, October three weeks of exclusive, three weeks of dinner, so it's only available till the 31st. Okay. Look at that. It gives you your printed out memory menu and look at those photos. That's what you're gonna be eating for three weeks. It has week one, week two, week three. And what I like is it tells you on here, cha-cha chili, it's $1.96 per serving. Can you go out to dinner for $1.96? And if you pair this with our jalapeno cornbread, oh, that's good. So think about that, that's where it's time saving. And you probably could make it cheaper by shopping sales. we My husband does the shopping on Tuesday at a store by his work because they give him a military discount. So we get an extra 10% off. And I'm, you know, I like cheap. <laughs> That's why I do this. Okay, so it gives you a full menu. Then it gives you your week one grocery list. So you check your pantry to see what you have, what you don't have, you put on your shopping list and off to the store you go. And then you know you have your meals for that week. Here's the cha-cha chili, which is our all-time favorite, or one of our all-time, we have so many. What is this? This is a pulled butter chicken sand sandwich. Doesn't that look yummy? So again, a lot of meals there, and I like that it tells you the price right there. It gives you yummy pictures. Also, these recipes are, some of them are right on the packet, and then some of them are additional ways. There's many, you don't have to just make crispy lettuce wraps. You could use this so many different ways. So that's our three weeks. And let me just kind of give you a peek here of some of the things. It has an Alfredo. This is has dairy in it, so I've never tasted it, but it's a big seller. I got cha-cha chili. We got a general tau or dao or sao or however you want to say it. Ooh, it has our hearty beef stew, which is brand new and everything. And what else do we have? Thai coconut soup, which this is, you're not making a soup, you're making a chicken, which that is on our list for what we're having for dinner this week. Okay, so that's three weeks of dinner. We have multiple meal kits. This was the good Asian, and we have uh, good Greek, and we have good, I'm forget Mexican. That, so there, that's it. And so remember, when you're purchasing, you're helping our hostess earn lots of free goodies. And okay, think about stocking stuffers, because Christmas is coming up. Wow, it's maybe two months away, maybe two and a half months. Um, and think, if you'd like to have a cooking class and earn all the free stuff, think about that. Uh, and anyone that books from this class will get an extra, I'll give them a $20, extra $20 to spend at their class. Oh, I know I have more here. Oh. Let's, let's finish it off. I'll set up our plate here. We get a plate. Which is perfect timing because my husband just walked in. Okay. Um, <laughs> kind of broke my lettuce, but it calls, let me see what it says. It calls for, um, I can't 
can't remember which kind of lettuce. I don't remember. It's on here somewhere. Um, I should be able to see it. But I always buy the hearts of romaine or a romaine because it's stiffer and things like that. So let me get our meat. You ready to eat, Steve? Dinner is served. Okay, look at that. I'm going to take this, take a spoon. Just like that. And there's and a little bit of dry, coleslaw. And then the chipotle aioli, you've got to have with chipotle, because I truly believe that finishes it off. And let me show you that. See how, you can see how that we've hydrated the chipotle in there. Whoops. Yeah, this is kind of a messy one. There. And what I'm going to do is I would wrap it. I'm not taking a bite of this because it will fall all apart. But then I can roll it over and I've got like a little burrito thing there. Okay, so now, again, there are three ways you can Epicure. One, you can start a business. Look at this. I'm just cooking dinner for my family and that's my work. Or you can host your own class. We can use it. We can pick many themes and you can earn all kinds of free stuff or you can be a customer in order every month um, or as needed. So you have a good night and we will talk soon.